right? And talking about last time, now you're one of the world's best players when it comes to speed chess, uh, whether it's bullet, blitz, or rapid. What skills would you um, would you attribute to that? Um, I think it's just uh, playing a lot, playing a lot of quick chess when I was younger, um, and also, you know, if you look at the chess in, in Europe or the U.S. and the U.S., a lot more of it is centered around uh, close to rap, a game thirty, for example, which is what I grew up playing a lot of in, in New York City. Um, and that's, that's very quick. That's quicker than, you know, in Europe where a lot of people grow up playing uh, more classical slow chess. So I think that played a big role. I mean, I think it's just the whole thing of, of growing up in the U.S. where, um, where thing, things are quicker. Okay, come on, tell me one thing. Um, you've got this really big plus score against Avishy Anand, who is an absolute legend, one of the greatest mm -hmm. players. But then at the same time, you have a bad score against a Magnus. So what's the psychology of it? I mean, why is it that chess players seem to do really well against somebody and then something goes wrong when you're playing someone else? Um, I mean, I think it's all psychological. I don't think there's any other explanation, really. Um, because uh, there, there isn't really. You, you can't say that, for example, um, I mean, obviously Magnus is a better player than Vichy, but you can't say, you know, you can't say that he's better by that, that degree to the point that I should, you know, yes. be scoring plus eight against Vichy and be like minus eight or something against uh, Magnus. So I think, I think it's all psychological. And uh, really, there, there are a lot of cases where it's like that that make no sense. I mean, I think, you know, if you look at Vichy, uh, b before all of us uh, young, young players started growing up, I think he had pretty much a plus score against every single player except for Kasparov and against Kasparov he had some terrible score as well so it's it's all relative um, but I think I think it is psychological at the end of the day and there's there's really no other explanation and is that a psychological barrier that one can break yeah I think so I mean I, I beat Magnus uh, last year in Bilbao for the first time um, after losing something like 10 games so and some of them um, were completely winning yeah, I mean, again, like I said, I think it is psychological. Right. So obviously it's possible to break it. I think all it takes really is like one good game um, and, and then anything can change. Last year you also had a great team performance in uh, Baku. Mm -hmm. How does that work when, uh, because it was the first time that you were playing with Wesley and with Fabiano in the team, you guys have always played against each other. So how, uh, how does the dynamic work when you're kind of rooting for each other? Um, well, I, I don't know if we were rooting for each other. I mean, we're still, uh, still obviously rivals. Um, but, but I think um, for the for the most part, there there wasn't any drama, and I think um, that 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 actually is a lot more important because with a lot of teams where you have top players, you, you tend to have certain dynamics where certain people want to win, others are rooting against the other players, um, and, and that that's why certain certain countries, I mean, like Azerbaijan as an example, seem not to do not not to perform as well as you would think that they could. So. Um, I mean, I think in general it's just that we, we had a pretty reasonable dynamic, there was no drama and I think uh, where we just all happen to be that good that really uh, nothing's going to, I mean, we're just that, that talented that nothing really is going to stop us unless there are, you know, there's drama or, or stuff like that. Now you've got, like we said, you've got Fabiano and you've got Vesti and Fabiano's playing here as mm -hmm. well. Is that like an extra motivation that now they're part of the same federation and you had this domination but now suddenly you have to kind of fight for it? I mean, one of, the, one of the best things I think about chess, unlike so many other sports or, or, or games, is that for the most part you, you control your own destiny. You can control what happens. And so, um, I mean, obviously uh, they're, they're both fantastic players, um, but if, if I play well, I have no doubt that I can get up there too. So, um, so we'll see what happens, but, but obviously for right now I just have to focus on playing well, and if I play well, good things will happen. They will. And my last question, Igaru, now, uh, everybody obviously associates you with a very aggressive style of play and full of tactics and combination. Do you, uh, what for you do you personally believe is your strength and is, is that the kind of chess that you love as well? Um, I mean, I do love playing uh, aggressive chess. Um, I don't think that's uh, completely my style anymore, unlike in the past. But, but still, I, I do like playing, playing games where they're going to be decisive results because for me, I, I do tend to view chess uh, as being closer to a sport. And I, I think one of the big, big issues with chess is that you have a lot of draws. And I mean, if I could win, win or lose every game, I would much prefer that to, to draws. But uh, of course, the rules are what they are. In our spectators, we absolutely love that. So all the best uh, for this tournament and the whole of the year.